This is the last of our introductory series of videos on stage lanterns. And in this one, we're going to talk about beam lights, in particular, PAR lamps. PAR stands for Parabolic Illuminized Reflector, but I don't expect you to remember that. You'll just see them in catalogues known as PAR lamps. And in the catalogues, you'll find the word PAR, and then there's a number. And this number could be something like a 64, a 36, a 16. And what this refers to, it's a very strange American idea apparently, is the width of the front of the can times units of one eighth of an inch. So for those of you who are good at mathematics, this is a par 64, 64 one eighth of an inch. If you haven't got it already by now, that's eight inches. This little toy, this is what's known as a par 16, 16 one eighth of an inch, that's two inches. It has absolutely nothing to do whatsoever with how bright they are, what voltage they work on, or what wattage they use. It's all to do with the front of the can. In a PAR can, it's the bulb that makes all the difference. If you want to change the beam, you change the lamp. It's like a sealed headlamp, the kind of thing you'd have in your car. It's a simple matter just to take one out, put one in. So you notice this one's got a clear lens. This is a narrow angled lamp. The one we have in here, it's got a fluted lens, so that's a wide-angled lamp. Now when we turn one on, you'll see they are very, very bright, and you get an oval-shaped beam. And the only adjustment you can do, apart from changing the lamp, is to change the axis of the beam to suit your stage. So you select it, and you can point it. And that's it. But they're very bright, they're very light, they're very cheap. And because they're so bright, you can do some very, very deep colours and still get lots of light left out the other end. So they're excellent for rock and roll shows or dance shows. Anywhere you need lots and lots of dark, saturated colours. And you don't have to worry about the light coming down on the proscenium arch. It is possible to get barn doors to go on the front of them. But my own feeling is if you've got barn doors on the front of a parkane, you're using the wrong lantern. Now the PAR 16 lantern, when it first came out, people used to think it was a bit of a joke. But over the years, they found a lot of uses for it. It looks quite cute. It does give out a little bit of light. But when you've got 20 or 30 of them along the front of a stage, it gives you a very nice looking footlight, which is excellent if you're doing sort of live performances with video. You will also find them in just about every chief electrician's office or in the theatre bar, just there as house lights. So that gives you a basic introduction to PAR lamps or beam lights. And now you know what all the different lanterns do. Now you can start thinking about how you're going to use them.